Hey everyone, welcome back to The Lookout. We're going to jump in our computer here and fly around the Southern Sierra, take a look at the fires burning in Sequoia National Park and down on the Thule Indian Reservation, Thule River Indian Reservation. So uh, hang on tight. Thanks for joining us. Okay, so we're going to take a little virtual tour here of the fires in the Southern Sierra, um, Sequoia National Park. We're starting off here over Exeter, just to kind of give people a regional reference. And we're going to come up over three rivers and take a look at these fires. The purple line here is the National Park Service boundary. The fires are in the center here. And um, giant sequoia groves are shown with yellow outlines. Areas in green are prescribed burns that have happened in the last five years. And in purple are prescribed burns that have happened in the last 10 years. So you can see we've had a lot of prescribed fire in some of the big giant sequoia groves. So we look here, the fire on the north is the colony fire, and the one on the south is paradise. One thing we see with the colony fire is that the fire is kind of um, run to the top of the mountain and it's backing down. And so oftentimes when a fire is backing, we see lower rates of fire spread and uh, more moderate fire behavior. It's got some areas here on the um, north, which is to the left-hand side of the screen, where it has got some slope that it's running up. But a bulk of the fire is backing downhill here. Here in the center is our, um, it's a giant sequoia groves, General Sherman tree. So the worry here is that the fire is going to become established in the bottom of the drainage and um, be able to make a slope-driven run up into the big trees. Um, hopefully the prescribed burning that's been done helps uh, moderate those fire effects and we'll we'll just have to see how that plays out um, it's likely that these two fires are going to join if they haven't already you know this intel is from last night and we don't really have very good information on what's happened overnight one thing you can see on some of this imagery is um, you know we can see there's been a lot of dead there's a lot of trees here that have been killed by drought and beetles um, we'll have some mapping that up on the lookout site soon. I haven't tracked that down right now. Um, similarly on the Paradise Fire, you can see that it's run out of slope um, going up here and we once it crosses the ridge and is backing down, we expect lower rates of spread. Same on this western flank of the fire. We're looking kind of to the southeast here. Um, you know, one thing we saw last year on the Creek Fire is just that there is potential for really massive up canyon runs when we've got um, you know, fires that are established in these drainages. So uh, it kind of remains to be seen what the fire is going to do heading up the canyon here. But that's the, um, that's the fires in the Sequoia. We're going to jump over here now to the um, fire that's burning on the Thule River Indian Reservation. We're headed south here. This is the Windy Fire. Um, similarly to the last one, uh, last map, we've got prescribed fires in green. Um, here are historic fires in the last five years are shown in blue. And we've talked a lot on the lookout about how historic fires um, tend to be one of the biggest controls on where um, the next sub subsequent fires go. So we've got um, on the south end of the fire here, we're looking out over um, Johnsondale. And we see that there's a this blue shape here is between Johnsondale and the fire is a 2016 fire. So um, that should buy a lot of advantage in helping slow the spread of the fire here. Also, the fire would have, you know, it's going to have to spread downhill. Um, in the foreground here is the McNally fire, which burned almost 20 years ago. And there's definitely um, concern here that, you know, this fire is going to get out into that burn and uh, burn in those uh, dead fuels that are left over from that fire. I, I haven't worked in this area, so I, I can't really comment on um, the conditions of the fuels in this area or what the potential is. But um, I've been hearing some discussion. Just people are wondering what's going to happen when it gets into the burn. Uh, some good news here on this fire is that um, Ponderosa, which is a community that is to the northeast of the fire, is pretty much surrounded by recent burns, um, including prescribed fires. And um, also these white shapes are fuel thinning projects that have been done. So almost completely surrounded by fires that it was saved from by um, last year, that really reduces the likelihood that the, this fire is gonna uh, come hauling in. 
So um, we're following these on the lookout. Um, got a volunteer down there that's um, feeding us some intel who's a retired federal wildland firefighter. Um, we've got a friend up here that is helping me make some maps. Um, we're going through our kind of seasonal transition here um, with the lookout, and we're starting to work on some longer term projects. Um, thanks to your donations, we've got some video equipment that we're figuring out, and uh, we're working on some videos on the, what happened in the Dixie Fire. Um, working on some interviews, longer form stuff. So you might see um, a little lower volume coming out of us now that we're not in total combat mode, you know, um, right here in Butte County. Uh, but we're we're working on a lot of different things at once. We're uh, we're kind of trying to build an organization here. Coming back to this fire, I uh, just want to show you, you can see all these all this red. This is all dead trees from the insect mortality we've had over the past decade. Definitely a significant part of driving um, our fire severity in these areas. Uh, as I said, we'll have some more detailed maps of that. Sorry about this flicker, but that's uh, just what it's doing. That's it's a fire. It's supposed to flicker, right? Uh, anyhow, thanks for your support of the lookout. Um, we'll be keeping you posted. We post updates on Twitter um, when we have information that isn't worth you know spending hours on a video or a new post on the website. We've also got a new post up on the website uh, looking at Lassen Park and how the fire spread through there. So um, if you get a chance, go to lookout.org and check out um, our latest writings. Thanks a lot. <laughs>